Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Bodybuilding News Network. As always, I am your host, Sanch. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the results for the 2022 Arnold Classic in the Men's Classic Physique Division uh, as prejudging and finals and the award ceremony and everything is already completed. So if you're interested in that style of content, definitely consider staying tuned. Uh, otherwise, enjoy your evening and check out the channel for some other related content. But if you're still here, let's go ahead and uh, I have some footage from Daniel over at Bodybuilding Without Borders, uh, who was nice enough to post some posing routines of the top four at this year's Arnold Classic in the Men's Classic Physique Division. Turns out uh, Terrence Ruffin came away with the win. Uh, no surprise there, but the big surprise was uh, the rest of the, um, the rest of the competitors. Guys, um, was absolutely phenomenal um, placings. Everyone came in just out of this world conditioning. Uh, I'm still looking forward to watching the rest of the content, um, but I did see the final posing routines uh, and some photo, uh, photos, some photos. And uh, as it ended up, Terrence Ruffin winning um, Mr. Dino Ramon, uh, from Brazil ended up coming in second, uh, compared to his, I believe it was fifth place finish at the most recent Olympia in class physique. So, uh, a big jump up knocking off two big names. We'll get about, we'll get there in a second. Uh, but you know, uh, for Ramon, you know, big congratulations to him. Um, he has a very, very bright future in the IFBB. Now, in third place, uh, surprising. Now, I wouldn't say controversial, but very surprising. Urs Kelzinski, who placed fourth at last year's Classic Physique, Mr. Olympia, uh, placing third at this year's Arnold Classic uh, in a very star-studded lineup in this year's Classic Physique division, beating out in fourth place, uh, a former Mr. Olympia in the Classic Physique, uh, two-time Classic Physique Olympian, and a previous Arnold Classic champion, Breon Ainsley. Now, uh, there is going to be a lot of conversation, um, maybe some not-so-nice ones from some of the other channels. Uh, I know it's going to come, and I know people are going to talk about it, so... Breon is older. He's an older gentleman. You'd be surprised. I had no idea he was in his 40s, but uh, he's been around. He's been competing since um, he, you know, open coming into classic. Uh, he was probably he, I think he was one of the first uh, classic physique Olympians or he was the uh, second one, the second and third. But um, him landing in fourth place here at the Arnold Classic. Um, I think that really hurts his stock, and I thought that he had a phenomenal shape. I thought he came in great conditioning, uh, very full, very muscular, uh, but it would seem that the judges just aren't giving him the look that they used to, uh, and as um, I think history is going to show us, um, this is kind of going to be a um, defining moment for his career. He has been slipping in placings at the most recent Olympias, the second place, and then the third place. Uh, but now uh, a fourth place at the second largest bodybuilding show in the world, especially in the IFBB, as, as, as we normally talk to uh, about is in the IFBB. I don't know where, um, where, where's to, where's to go from here. Um, it does, uh, bring up some questions. I'm sure he will continue to compete as he is uh, a top athlete. He's going to keep getting those checks. He still has all those sponsorships, so he'll be fine. Um, but uh, <laughs> my cat Totoro agrees. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he does. Uh, the other guys for uh, Ramon, uh, for Dino Ramon, and for Urs Kelsinski, Mr. Miracle Bear. He has a clothing brand called Miracle Wears very catchy but uh these two young athletes just phenomenal uh, they're really going to be coming up in the ranks and i look forward to seeing um what the future holds for them you know already placing two and three at the arnold classic and four and five at last year's olympia uh the sky is the limit for them uh, expect them to be uh in that topper echelons of men's classic physique uh for the next few years to come unless you know classic physique decides to change their focus 
Uh, I also wanted to give a highlight uh, in sixth place, uh, Michael uh, Daboul, I believe is how you pronounce it. He placed fifth. Peter Molnar, one of our favorites, placing sixth. Um, uh, what's the guy's name? Divine is um, his tag, but um, he placed in, what, seventh? Seventh. And then um, Darwin Irvine placing uh, eighth. And then the uh, uh, Mr. Wicks with the, um, with the smaller Instagram account uh, placing in uh, last for men's classic physique. So guys and gals, uh, that is, that's pretty much it. Um, once I get some really good clean footage uh, of the uh, pre-judging and finals and the award ceremony and things of that nature, uh, I will post it. So stay tuned for that as always on the Bodybuilding News Network. That's what we're all about here. Uh, but I uh, just uh, dropped the ball when it comes to coverage for uh, prejudging for day one. Um, I feel bad. I was at work all day, so um, I'll need to adjust fire. Uh, I'm going to take off um, the Boston Pro, the Indy Pro, the New York Pro, make sure I take off those Fridays uh, so that something like this doesn't happen again. So uh, as we start to uh, get back into the swing of um, providing this uh, fan favorite uh, news coverage for you guys. Uh, I will do my part to be uh, the, the best media pundit, media head uh, that I can for you. Uh, and as always, I appreciate all of you checking out Bodybuilding News Network. I'm your host, Sanch. Thank you so much for watching another episode on BNN. Consider liking and subscribing and definitely continue the conversation in the comment sections below. Uh, the athletes links are in the description. As always, check out their Instagrams and their sponsors. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning for uh, the rest of the day.